So I saw this question online. It was basically, uh, why is it that the heroes that will be looked at as good always die super early in the boys? And it's quite simple. They don't know how to adapt. And what I mean by that is, let's take Starlight, right? The very first time we see Starlight, she's all bright and she's bubbly and she's happy to be a part of the seven. And this is a great, like turning point for her and she's going to be like another female role model and the seven are these great shining heroes in the sky that everyone can look forward to and then she gets there and she gets orally raped by the deep because he's a shithead and when she goes to me for help she's a drunk and she's cynical and homelander's a murderous dickhead and a train is an apathetic asshole who only cares about himself and um uh what is her name madison stillwell like she doesn't care as long as the money keeps rolling in and the fame is always there and there's glitz and glamour that is all she fucking cares about making sure that the gravy train keeps on rolling don't talk about the deep orally uh raping you in any way shape or form keep it on the down low and just keep on moving forward so starlight ends up being jaded she kind of turns into a non-drunk version of mave where she realizes for the first time that the seven is essentially bullshit it's grime it's dirty it's filthy these guys aren't really fucking heroes if anything they are villains and that's why one of her early mantras in the early seasons was like you know i'm a fucking superhero but at the exact same time the reason why starlight has survived is because she's learned to adapt a lot of the other good heroes who show up in the series end up dying really quick because they don't learn to adapt like the very first time starlight adapted was when huey was dying and she had to save his life and she killed that dude on the side of the road her hands got dirty she's willing to play at the exact same level as homelander and a train and all of these other shitheads who work for vaught she's willing to get her hands dirty she's willing to use underhanding tactics She's willing to try and do sneaky shit in an attempt to kill Homelander. She basically looked around and realized in order for me to survive, I've got to lie. I've got to cheat. I've got to bullshit. I've got to get my hands dirty. A lot of these other heroes, like let's say Supersonic, who pops up in the series, the reason why they die so quickly is because they don't adapt. Like they think that these guys are these great, amazing, fantastic beautiful heroes and they're willing to confide in them and believe in them and put their faith in them and when they do these things they get betrayed and when they get betrayed they get killed and that is basically all she wrote for all these different characters who pop up in an attempt to be what we would presume superheroes should be the underhanded shitty superheroes that are the seven or in any way shape or form operate with the seven work meticulously to crush these type of heroes so that they aren't put on a pedestal and a light isn't shown on the both of them because eventually if a light is shown on the both of them you start to realize just how full of shit they actually are which is one of the reasons why i think it's really interesting when you look at the deeps character his character arc was kind of asshole then he kind of hit rock bottom then he kind of did some soul searching then he was used and then he's right back to being used because as a train said you're so fucking stupid you don't realize how stupid that you actually are but he gets up the bullshit his wife she's nefarious as fuck she gets up the bullshit a train attempting to rebrand himself he's getting up the bullshit but then if you were to take a train the supersonic and put them next to each other and shine a light you'd realize that Supersonic is a genuinely nice guy, whereas A-Train is basically only out for himself. The problem is, when they both look at each other, A-Train sees a tool that he can use, whereas Supersonic sees a friend in the superhero community he doesn't realize is going to betray him, fuck him in the ass, and leave him on a rooftop to get brutalized and ripped to shreds by Homelander. So, no, if you see a good hero show up in this show, just know. They're not going to last. No one in this show is an actual good person. You can look at Huey and go that Huey is a good person. In general, Huey is a good person. But at the exact same time, 
he's willing to get dirty and become a mini version of Butcher and kill the people that get in his way or threaten Starlight or his friends or his family in any way, shape, or form. So no, no one on the boys is a good person. All of them are fucked up. Across the board, 100%. Uh, Butcher is brutal. Uh, Mother's Milk, he's almost as brutal as Butcher. He just hides behind this... I don't even know if it's like a moral dilemma, but he hides behind like his convictions to try and trick himself into believing that he's not as brutal as Butcher. Frenchie's willing to do whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, Huey's basically turning into another Butcher. Starlight is basically learning... Starlight is basically Sansa Stark, funnily enough. And Vought is basically Peter Baelish. And the more time Starlight spends in Vought, the more she's learning all of Vought's tricks and then using those tricks against Vought to essentially protect herself, fuck with Homelander, and then get what she wants. Everybody on the Seven, essentially using each other. Homelander's the king piece on top that's using everyone because they're all terrified of him. But no, no one good will survive in no one truly good will survive in this show they're always going to end up being betrayed used in some way shape or form and then uh killed off the casualties of war and it's going to be interesting to see who exactly is left standing once homelander pulls the trigger and is like no no more of this shit if you're a soup you're up here if you're a human you're down here and it's going to be interesting to see that when the humans and the soups go to war who exactly are going to be the ones that are going to end up on the opposite side but yeah just a little essay that I want to talk about because I saw a question like, why is it that when we see good heroes on the TV show, they instantly killed off? Wanted to talk about it. Uh, if you want to comment, comment down below. You know I like responding to the comments when I read them, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.